Abraham may say, this is Surbass of Surbass TV. In this video, we are going to learn the difference between sexual and asexual reproduction. Are you ready to learn? If you find this video helpful, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Do not forget to like, share, and comment hashtag AgAmazing. Let's go! Observe the following pictures. What do the pictures share in common? Correct! The pictures show parents together with their offspring. But how does a parent organism produce a new organism or offspring? You are right! It is through the process of reproduction. Reproduction is the process by which living organisms like humans, animals, and plants form new individuals of the same kind. To reproduce means to make a new life. The ability of an organism to produce new individuals is one of the characteristics that distinguish living things from non-living things. Reproduction is important for the perpetuation of species. If there is no means of reproduction, individuals of a species would not exist anymore and the species would die. Through reproduction, new organisms are produced and the species live on. Reproduction in an organism may be classified into asexual and sexual reproduction. Let us find out the difference between these two types of reproduction. Asexual reproduction is the creation of a new organism from a single or one parent and does not involve the combination of the meats or sex cells. Since there is only one parent involved in asexual reproduction, the offspring will solely inherit the hereditary information from its parent. Thus, the offspring is exactly the same as the parent. Compare the appearances of the offspring to their parent starfish. What can you observe? Correct! The offspring look exactly the same with their parent. This is because in asexual reproduction, the genetic makeup of the offspring is the same as the parent. Take a look at the colony of bacteria. What can you observe on their appearance? Correct! They are exactly alike with each other. It is because they reproduce asexually. Asexual reproduction is the main form of reproduction for unicellular organisms such as bacteria, protists, fungi such as mushroom, animals such as starfish, and plants such as potato. The advantages of asexual reproduction are the following. First, the organism does not need to search for a partner. Second, asexual reproduction requires less energy since no mating is needed. And third, the time taken for asexual reproduction to complete takes only a short period of time. Because of this, a parent organism can produce many offspring at one reproductive cycle. On the other hand, the disadvantage of asexual reproduction is that there is no variation in the genetic makeup of the offspring. The offspring inherits the weaknesses of the parent. For instance, if the parent carries a disease or prone to certain diseases, then the offspring can be susceptible to that disease. Some types of asexual reproduction include fission, budding, spore formation, fragmentation, and regeneration. We are going to discuss this in detail in our next video. Let us now discuss sexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction is the type of reproduction that involves two parents, a male and a female, to produce new individuals. 
Among animals, the male produces sperm cells and the female an egg cell. Sperm cell and egg cell are collectively called gametes. When these gametes unite, the process is called fertilization. A zygote or a fertilized egg is the result of fertilization. The zygote then develops and becomes an embryo. It will continue to develop until it reaches maturity to be born. Since there are two parents involved, a male and a female, this will produce an offspring that looks different from its parents. Its traits and genetic makeup is a combination of its parent, from the male and the female. This is the reason why we humans do not look exactly the same as our parents, because we reproduce sexually. Other organisms that reproduce sexually are fungi, flowering plants, and animals such as chickens, snakes, dogs, and pigs. In flowering plants, the main reproductive organ is the flower. The advantage of sexual reproduction is that it creates variation in the genetic makeup of the offspring. This variation enables the offspring to adapt successfully to changing environments. On the other hand, the following are the disadvantages of sexual reproduction. Since it involves two parents, it requires looking for a partner. It also requires more energy. Because of this, the rate of reproduction is slower. The two types of fertilization that occurs in sexual reproduction in animals are external fertilization and internal fertilization. External fertilization is characterized by the release of both sperm and egg into an external environment. Amphibians such as frog reproduce through this process. On the other hand, internal fertilization happens when the male deposits his sperm directly into the female's body. All birds reproduce through internal fertilization, and all mammals such as humans also reproduce through internal fertilization. And that is the difference between sexual and asexual reproduction. Try to answer this activity to test your understanding of sexual and asexual reproduction. You can compare your answers with the answer key at the end of this video. Do not forget to comment your score with the hashtag AgHamazing. See you at our next science lesson!